Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you have a health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with, we want to help you. Our number today is 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, formulations, ingredients, skin health issues, skin care issues, if you have questions about uh, formulations, skin care formulations, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number, of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 8442. 236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products or join the Bright Side Ben team and help spread the word about how powerful and important a good nutritional supplement program can be, please head over to my website, brightsideben.com. Also, check out our blogs, pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. Thank you to Robert Lundgren and Chanti Collier for setting those up. And you can also go to benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for doing that one. That's a great site, by the way. That's got all my, Peter set that up so it has all my sites in one, uh, on one page. That's super cool. Thank you, Peter, so much for doing that. I appreciate it. And then, of course, if you want to purchase any of our skin health products, truth treatment products, including our retinol 5% gel, go to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. It's retinol, 5% gel, loaded with vitamin C, I might add. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side. We're talking about fats. We've been talking about fats for a while. We'll probably continue talking about fats because they're so darn important and so misunderstood. These days, we know that the silliness about a low-fat diet or not eating a lot of fat. Well, you know what? I won't even go that far. Some people still believe that you don't want to eat a lot of fat and you want to have a low-fat diet, etc. This is despite the fact that more and more we're learning about this thing called the ketogenic diet for good health. Now, we've known about the ketogenic diet, which is basically a high-fat diet in contradistinction, 180 degrees the opposite of what you hear in the mainstream or what you used to hear a lot of in the mainstream, which is low-fat. The ketogenic diet is a high-fat diet that's associated with, oh, let's see, anti-cancer, anti-seizures, anti-aging, feeling better, having more energy. Uh, improving the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. These are all things you get from a high-fat diet. Now, Dr. Wallach's been talking about this for years, decades. I've been talking about it for decades. This is just another classic reason why the last place you ever want to get information about health and nutrition is from the mainstream. This is, this is why they change. Our, the mainstream take on health and nutrition changes. Our, uh, every couple of years it changes, really. And it changes dramatically every 10 or 20 years. You don't want to go by mainstream anything, really, when it comes to health. You want to go by common sense and logic. Fats are nature's densest source of energy. That's all you need to know, folks. Fats are nature's densest source of energy. Why would you not want to make sure that you're getting high energy, high fat? Well, one reason is, is because when... We ingest fats, we don't necessarily ingest the good fats. We ingest processed fats. Food manufacturers love processed fats. They're called trans fats or hydrogenated fats. Now they have a new one called interesterified fats. 
because they didn't want to use trans fats anymore. Just because something isn't trans fat, you know, trans fat free, now you see, doesn't mean you're out of the woods because they got all kinds of other processed fats. Processed fats are a big problem. High fat, if it's good fat, is not an issue. High processed fat, or any processed fat, really, that is an issue. Especially if we're doing processed fats at the expense of the good fats. Especially if we're doing the margarine at the, at the expense of the butter. Because you see, the body is set up to use butter. The body is set up to use good fats. The body is set up to manufacture itself from good fats. The body is set up to manufacture cells from good fats. The body is set up to use good fats for its hormones, for its hormones particularly of inflammation and anti-inflammation. The wrong kinds of fats can't help but mess things up. The wrong kinds of fats can't help but, but uh, produce or lead to Disshapen, disformed, uh, deformed, messed up cells. Good fats are used to make the coating of a cell. The coating of a cell is the key element of the entire structure, not only for, for structural reasons, but for electrical reasons. Fats, good fats, the right kinds of fats are electrical, especially essential fatty acids, the two, omega, the two EFAs we call omega-6 and omega-3. They're super electrical. When I say fats are rich sources of energy, I'm saying they're rich sources of electrical energy. And the body is set up to use good fats to coat or cover the outside of every one of the 100 trillion cells of our body with a super high energy electromagnetic fat. The cell membrane is largely composed of these super high energy electrical, uh, electrically active fats. When we eat distorted fats, when we eat franken fats, when we eat fats that are dead, which is what processing does, our body will attempt to stick these dead fats in the cells. And guess what that means? That means cells that can't do their business in terms of energy, that can't do their business in, in terms of information. The outside part of a cell, the cell membrane, is important for informing the inside what's happening. If you have the wrong kinds of fats, it won't be informing correctly. The communications will be, will be defective. By the way, cancer is a classic cell membrane defect issue. Let me say that again. That's so important. Because everybody thinks we don't know what causes cancer. Or everybody thinks there's a zillion things that cause cancer. No, there's not a zillion things that cause cancer. And yes, we know what causes cancer. We've known it for decades. It's dysfunctional cells at the outside level, the cell membrane. This leads to problems with oxygen. It leads to problems with communication. The inside doesn't know what's happening on the outside. The genetics start to change. All of this follows dysfunctional cell membranes. Dysfunctional cell membranes themselves follow the wrong kinds of fats. Now, there's certainly a lot of things that can cause a dysfunctional cell membrane. Attack, foods, the immune system going haywire, or the immune system protecting the body. These can all cause dysfunctional cell membranes, but there's no way, no way you can have a healthy cell membrane if you subsist on the standard American diet. And we're encouraged to eat these kinds of fats. Up until recently, doctors would tell you to eat margarine, not butter. On the other hand, the good fats, the ketogenic diet, that is one of the most powerful, if not the most single powerful dietary strategy for anti-aging. Reading from the journal New Scientist, November 28th, 2015. How high fat diet for epilepsy is important for the brain or affects the brain. This is all about the ketogenic diet. You don't need to read it in Science Magazine. Hippocrates talked about the ketogenic diet a, a millennia ago. He didn't call it the ketogenic diet. He called it high fat and high protein. So it's not the fats. It's the wrong kinds of fats. And the wrong kinds of fats are the wrong kinds of fats. They are bad stuff, bad news, people. And it's not just processed foods. It's not just the trans fats that are added to these foods. It's the fried fats. Look at all the foods we eat, the foods we love, I should say. Potato chips and french fries and, and pizza. And, you know, it, it's all, there's always an element of cooking fat. And there's a, a very important reason for that. I'll tell you what that is when we come back from our break. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back after this. Thank you for listening to GCN. 
Visit GCNlive.com today. On the bright side, I'm pharmacist Ben. Our number 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or if you want to talk about anything we're talking about today, fats, fatty vitamins, uh, trans fats, processed fats, intraesterified fats, if you just want to contribute to the conversation in any way, or if you have a success story, 844-236-6010 is our number. And if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. All right, so we love fat because it's high energy. There's, we're driven for fat. It's very difficult to not eat fat, and at the same time, it's very difficult to overeat fat. You will get very sick if you overeat fat. You can overeat sugar a lot faster than you can overeat fat. You can overeat carbs a lot faster than you can overeat fat. Fat has its own turn-off button. It has a, a satiety or a satisfaction button in the brain. So it's very difficult to eat too much straight fat. You can eat too much fat with sugar in it. That can happen. But it's very difficult to get to, to ingest too much ice cream or too much milk. I saw this guy. There's a TV show where a guy eats. It's not on anymore. It used to be on where a guy eats massive amounts of food. It's called. Uh, the heck is that show called? Man v Food. Probably seen it. It was kind of. It's sort of like watching a car accident or a train wreck or something like that, just to watch this guy try to destroy his body. But anyway, he can eat a lot of food, but what he can't eat a lot of is a lot of milkshakes. In fact, I, the only time I ever saw this guy get sick, he would eat massive amounts of tacos and hamburgers and steaks and ridiculous amounts of food, but he couldn't do it with milkshakes. That's the one time I saw this guy throw up, and I knew it would happen. I knew he wasn't going to... The challenge, his challenge was to drink a bunch of milkshakes, and I saw that, and I was like, no way is that guy going to be able to do that because you can't eat that much fat. You have a turnoff button for fat, which is why fat can be so satisfying, especially coconut oil, you guys. Coconut oil contains a special kind of fat. We haven't talked about this one. At least we haven't talked about it lately. But this stuff, it's called medium chain triglyceride or MCT. Most of the fats that we talk about are long chains. Remember, there's three, we've talked about this in the past, there's three kinds of fats, or three lengths of fats, or three sizes of fats. You've got short fats, and those are crazy important for your digestive system. Butter contains these short fats. In fact, one of the classic short fats is called butter acid, or butyric acid. You may have heard of that. If you've ever heard of something called GABA, GABA is a type of butyric acid, gamma amino butyric acid. GABA is a... Uh, it's used for seizure disorders. It's used to calm the brain down. It has a calming effect. And butyric acid and butter and these short fats have a calming effect on the body. Drug companies love tweaking molecules so they can patent them. And GABA is uh, one of those molecules that gets tweaked. There's a, used to be a, a, there's a drug, not used to be, there's a drug called gabapentin. There's another one uh, that you see advertised a lot, Lyrica, I think it's called. Lyrica, that's another GABA-type drug that works with this short, well, s kind of along the, the same lines as the, the, the short-chain fats that are found in butter. It's a type of butyric acid. What does that mean? Eat butter! These days, we all know about eating butter, most of us anyway, but when I was growing up, you know, doctors said, don't eat butter. Completely ignorant of the biochemical nature of it. So short fats are really important. Vinegar. You ever wonder why vinegar is so important? Some people think the whole vinegar thing is, is, uh, is just kind of like an old wives' tale, or it's a, it's a myth. No, it's not. Acetic acid, which is what the active ingredient in vinegar is, is a short fat. This is one reason why you can use vinegar to clean with. Because these short fats are watery and fatty. They act both ways. You know how everything is either water-soluble soluble or fat-soluble. We talk about that a lot. How things have water-soluble nature or fat-soluble nature. Well, the short fats have a both nature. They're water-soluble and they're fat-soluble. And that makes them great to clean with. That makes vinegar great to clean with. It also makes vinegar or acetic acid, which is a short fat, the active ingredient in vinegar, very healthy and very medicinal especially when it comes to energy. These short fats help the body process energy. This is why vinegar can be helpful for diabetics. 
We've known this for a long time. Something as simple as apple cider vinegar can help stabilize your blood.